Hello. Okay, so this is part two of trying to get this flipping balcony sorted. So today I have put on my painting t-shirt and my painting jeans because the last time I started doing stuff on there, I mean, I was only like moving planters and planting stuff out, but I managed to, well, I've got mud all over the, all over these trains. <laughs> these were fairly new. And well, I mean, it's torrential rain at the end of the week. So all I need to do is just go out walking in these trainers and it'll sort them out. Um, but I don't, you know, I don't like those trainers all that much anyway. So anyway, I've got my NAF trainers on. <clears throat> and I'm going to go out there. And I've now got to clean the last section again. I've already cleaned it, but it looks all muddy. So I'm going to brush it with, with, you know, without getting it wet. Hopefully it's sort of, it doesn't look that dry, to be honest. It says it's dry today and tomorrow. So today's Tuesday, what is it? 23rd, 23rd of April. This has taken too bloody long doing this balcony painting so the thing is about the balcony wood so this apartment that we live in um it was built in 2005 so i mean technically it's 20 years old that balcony wood some of it is cracking and it looks awful um because I've, I've in the process of doing the bit where I was doing the planting and moving the planters over so I could do the other section. Some of the wood came off because it's, it is rotten. So I've been looking at what this, because it's composite like decking that they put on it. It's supposed to have like a 60 year shelf life. Theoretically, I think that this is probably more like 30 to 40. So it's already halfway through its lifespan. We would have to replace bits of the decking, I think, to get it right. Um, and the bit at the top, the sort of like, what is a pagoda, you could probably see. So that is my balcony. That's what I have on the roof section there. There's bits of that that fall off in high winds. Uh, <laughs> so it's not... It's not been put together that well. Um, the only thing that we could technically rely on is that, uh, you know, and that, and then that. Uh, 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 because that's metal. So that's the metal frame that the wood attaches to. You know, and since we've come, well, since we've moved in here, I've been treating the wood because it just needed it. But it just, it constantly seems to get damaged and cracked because with the top floor balcony and it just it does get an on onslaught of the weather so I, th I think this is the thing though is that when they say that they've got a 60 year lifespan on this treated wood that they put on these balconies i don't i'm not so sure that that is actually the case because let's face it these balconies they only started building these in the late 90s. They only started putting these type of balconies on because before that they were like concrete balconies that people used to have on the old style building. This is going to annoy me if I do a low ponytail because when I move my head it's going to just get in the way. I don't need to like have it looking pretty so let's just gawk it up. <laughs> just need it out of the way. Um, I've got work this afternoon anyway, so Jim, I really would like to get this paint on. Um, God, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> right, okay, I need to crack on. Uh, let's go and have a look what we've got. So naturally, oops. <laughs> I just paused the video, so that was the wrong thing to do, because apparently it won't, yeah. I don't know what's going on out here. Lots of noise, but I can't work out what it is. It must be the bin men. They, they seem to come regularly. Right, so this is the bit that I've done. And this is what I mean about the wearing out. 
um, and in the process of moving stuff so like in the process of moving these planters over here which are plastic I've managed to clunk off like big parts of the decking anyway this is what I'm going to do I'm going to clean this because it has got mud in it so I've got to do it today because it's now saying it's going to rain by the end of the week so I'm going to clean this um, I don't know about I think I might be painting it tomorrow at this rate it's just I kind of wanted to get these planters over there so that I could paint this middle section again <sighs> I don't know oh and look and there's the pigeon waiting to annoy me right let's crack on right I've cleaned this bit well I've brushed it so this bit we're doing I can't go under that planter anyway because it is massive and it's heavy and <laughs> it's just not happening so I'm only doing this bit I'm hoping I can do another coat of this tonight after I finish work um, this bit was really dirty so I've actually wet that so that bit's not getting painted and it also reminds me to leave a little bit of space where I can actually like get back inside <laughs> um, I'm gonna redo this bit anyway so it doesn't matter if I don't do that bit I'm just gonna do this bit and hopefully do another coat when I finish work <sighs> the only reason I'm doing that is just because of the the weather the weather is just doing my nothing. Right, we are on Wednesday. Wednesday morning. So, um, I did come home from work um, and do the second coat on that little corner that I was working on. So, I am now in a position where I can move the planter, which may well fall that may well rust through and fall through the bottom so I've got to carefully move that this morning I'm going to move it and then do the weeding on it because the weeds are the thing that's probably holding it together um, you know I'm, I'm probably going to make a mess of what I've done but I'm going to do that I'm going to move it It. what's annoying is I looked and looked and looked at the weather forecast and it said 2 to 1% of rain for yesterday all day and when I came back I checked it again you know because it it was eight o'clock by the time I was done with work you know and then it rained at about midnight and it was like a serious rain shower so I have no idea what the point of that is so the weather forecast today is saying that there's likely to again be a shower of rain this evening so I don't really know where I I don't know whether I should paint the middle bit or not um yeah I just don't know <laughs> but I'd want to get this job done because there's other stuff that I need to it's like I've just had a sneezing fit in here because it's just so dusty and obviously I've traipsed mud into the apartment from doing this um so I need to get I need to have a cleaning day here and this is my only day off work now because I'm doing overtime <sighs> so yeah I'm not very impressed and I'm working the whole weekend so uh, <laughs> it's not it's not a great situation um, and my husband's left me the car today as well so I feel like I should like go out and do other th <laughs> and utilize the fact that I've got the car on my day off but I need to get this job done. So this is where we are with everything. Um, I need to finish this coffee before I do anything. <laughs> so that's the bit that I've done last night. Um, and then this middle bit here is the bit that needs the second coat. And I mean, obviously it has rained in quite a serious manner because it's still wet. It's still wet everywhere here. I just don't understand this. It says, it's got the same weather forecast today as it did yesterday saying nothing's going to happen it's going to be a lovely day and there's going to be no rain until three in the morning but how can you trust it when it's <laughs> it said that from about yesterday <laughs> so anyway there's things i've got to do i've got to tie that on there because obviously this is these are the ones that are falling down if it gets heavy 
it button oh yeah exactly like that oh no now i've got one arm to pick this up yeah so i've got to try and secure that to the rail <laughs> and i've got another one over there which needs securing <sighs> or I, or i get rid of them but I really like having things on the rail but I mean these ones are metal and these ones stay put but they also get filled with water um, yeah I just don't I don't know what the best solution is <sighs> see I don't know if it's going to be a good idea to tie that on or if it's just going to be a pain in the bottom because then it's going to be heavy and falling down and probably doing that that I've just done Oh, I just don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get these moved, these planters, to where I actually want them. This is the one which might fall through, which I'm going to put back over there. Yeah, so that's what I've done. Obviously haven't moved that. This is not the best paint job. And to be honest, I want to use up all the rest of the, that paint because I'm not storing that for another year. I don't think this will fare very well if it's stored so there's um yeah it's not staying um yeah this is the bit i want to paint right i'm going to crack on with this so this won't get done i've got other stuff i need to do and they're playing football see we do have a nice outlook i know that that looks terrible <laughs> but you know, we do have a playing field. This is the outcome <laughs> of what I've been doing. So, <laughs> um, oh God. So I've moved that. I'm just, I'm unimpressed because of the amount of slugs that I've found. It's just really irritating and I, you know, I don't feel, I mean, why aren't the birds, which I attract here, eating the slugs? Um, I've chucked a load of them off the balcony. <laughs> um, who knows, there might be a load more in here. I mean, there's, there's wood louse around. Uh, and I've forgotten to weed that, which is annoying. So, I don't know if this is where things are going to stay. I just wanted a bit more space this year because the chair that I've got to go on the balcony, well, for one, we've got that which is quite big and my chair is quite big too um i don't particularly want the rose bush in a place where we keep crashing into it or where the birds can jump on it too much and break it but if we put it in the corner the birds they break the limbs of it so i don't really know where to put it um and at the moment things are like are put where they are because i've got to paint this middle bit but as you can see I've had to wash it down a bit more and as such now I've got to wait for it to dry before I can paint it uh, yeah I just I just don't know what's best at the minute I kind of only wanted like a few large planters because the smaller ones are the ones which are annoying you know even the ones which are on the balcony rail are annoying because they just fill up with water as you can probably see from the, the rust anyway yeah i need to get painting when this is dried so i've got to go and do some other things and i'm, I'm like wondering about whether to put some wood filler in that but it's so brittle the only solution is taking the whole strip off and replacing it I think so I think that might just be a job for for future uh, yeah so it's still a work in progress and <laughs> although I know that I've done a lot it, it doesn't feel like I've achieved much um, you know and as well you see this is why I was moaning about this paint and why I won't buy it again and I'm just going to use it all up so I'm going to do what I need to do here because obviously this one here has very clearly not been painted. I'm just going to use it up for next year. I will get the Cupronol because 
even this bit here, which had two coats, is now going to end up with a third coat because just the motion of like being on the balcony and just doing and pottering around, you know, yeah, I know I've moved a few planters, which is what caused that, but it's just not got, it's just not very hard wearing this paint at all. So, yeah, paying, you know, 20 quid for that was probably the wrong thing to do. I should have just spent the extra on the better paint. So there you go, lesson learned. Yes. <laughs> and I wish the weather would spark up so I could actually come and enjoy this. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to wait for that to dry and then paint it. Okay, so it is now the 1st of May. So this has been a really long trial <laughs> doing this balcony. So I'm finally there. Obviously, I wouldn't be sat. I just, just painted this and then just sat in it. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> finally got here. Um, everything is painted. So yesterday it was really nice um, weather here in Manchester. Really sunny. I mean, when I was I was at work, and so when I was walking home from work, everybody was like carrying their coats. It was that warm. It's not so warm today. In fact, it's overcast. But it's all right. <laughs> so I've done a bit of the tidy up this morning. And um, yeah, it's it's kind of there. I finished doing the painting. So obviously the last bit of the video that you saw that was on the twenty. Because I've just I've just looked back on my phone. That was on the twenty fourth of April. I've done a really lousy job on here because I can see that I've got it on the bloody brickwork. So I did that bit later that day, and then I've done the last bit. Used up that paint can and put that in the bin yesterday after work because like I said it was gorgeous so this is where we are with everything I need to <laughs> I need to move my microphone and the rest of it so I'll turn you around and show you actually where we are I can't believe it's taken me the best part of a month. So the first thing I'll show you is the fact that I do have a tomato plant here. Um, and that one that's growing and then the other ones have just not really come to anything. I am not going to plant them out, plant them out until the end of May at the very least. I'm really going to stick to that. Never cast a clout until May is out. So here we are. This is everything i've still got a pile of junk there um these are empty i haven't planted any seeds out but obviously that's what i need to do next and that is the state of the wood it's not great i'm glad that we have one of those mats which can go on the wood and to anybody who doesn't believe it it is sunny look the sun is there behind a cloud. <laughs> they are playing, playing on the playing field as usual. So, yeah, that's fallen down again. So obviously I'm not finished here. I need to do like, I need to do weeding and the rest of it. Um, I think I'm gonna put spring onions in there the big one is for my tomatoes. I was going to put spring onions in there, but I now seem to have plants going on in there. And that I'm going to put spinach and lettuce in there, which is what I did last year, but it didn't do... <laughs> I've still got it on there. It didn't do that well. And then the chairs will go here, which is what that is. Yeah, I'm... I mean, I'm quite happy. This is obviously happy as well, because this seems to be getting to the point where it's flowering. That's how long it's been, you know, in that I've bought them, planted them out, and that one, and they've already taken root. Um, this seems happier than it was in its old planter. And 
I don't know what's happened in there. This is mint and a strawberry plant. So these strawberry plants look like that. So I would suggest that I've got a parasite of something in with that soil. I've possibly got that weird worm that ruins the soil in there because that is completely different to that. <laughs> so I would, I think that the, I mean the mint, it will probably appear, but it's usually taken over by now. So I'm not sure what's going on in there. Anyway, so I am going to leave it here because <laughs> I feel like I've been filming this video <laughs> for so long. I'll do a quick spin round of a before and after uh, so that it actually feels like I've actually achieved something. So I will show you now the before and then show you the after again. like what you see please subscribe and uh, there'll be more of this craziness trying to sort my life out which just seems to be perpetually doing the same jobs over and over again I paint that balcony wood every year I know that won't last that paint because that paint is terrible um yeah lesson learned by Cupronol buy better quality paint pay more don't <laughs> don't get the cheap version um it may be that it's just because it's matte and it's not like a silk finish and that's why it's not very hard wearing but i certainly need it because i'm a top floor apartment um it does rain a lot <laughs> and you know i i grow a lot of mildew on there anyway I need to draw a line onto this because I've been painting my balcony in little bits and tidying up for the best part of a month and I've got so many other little jobs that need doing so that's my spinach that I've got there so this should be one that you know you just plant it and then you pick it and you eat it and it keeps growing um I said I could I said I can plant it outside in March not a chance that that would have worked here so I will plant that over the next um month or so and i've got the same with some lettuce leaves which are just like the same you like you eat them you pick them and you eat them and you must pick them and you eat them because last year I, I seem to remember it started doing a lot of raining again last year um and then a lot of it went to seed so you know the key is not letting it go to seed um i also tried cucumbers last year hence why i had that little bit of uh, frame that i'd had that they were leaning against but they were absolutely awful they were so tough and they were so bitter um i, I don't want to even bother trying that again but it was a bit of an arse on the balcony last year because i had pigeons nesting um i think they're nesting down on the balcony below me this year because 
last year the, there was people who were on the balcony last year but this year it's just empty so they've taken full advantage of that and I think that they're nesting below which isn't great because it just means that when it gets nice and you want to be out there all will better smell is turd and all will have as clouds of flies so <sighs> hopefully some new people will move in and scare them off <laughs> but the pigeons don't care <laughs> so anyway i have uh, i have so many other jobs and things to do so hopefully you will join me for that we are in the process of doing our bathroom like replacing our shower but because we've been busy with work that's sort of gone onto the back burner um and we also the actual like i mean i've got i've got b and q bathrooms book here so this they had all the shower trays that they had none of them were appropriate for what we've got in our apartment um because we need a certain type of one that won't you know piss water into the neighbors um I don't know why I've, every, everybody just wants a wet room and wet rooms aren't appropriate when you don't know if you're leaking into the neighbours and nothing is built pro built properly in, the, in this day and age <laughs> so I want some I want to know that we can like trust that it's not going to be leaking so I mean that's been a pain in the bottom the reason that we haven't like finished doing that is because um the pair of us need to be here to take delivery of the shower tray the shower tray will be too big to fit in the back of the car so we've got to have it delivered but no delivery firms will carry it up the stairs so me and jason we are going to have to carry this dead weight of a shower tray up the stairs so we both need to be here hence why that has gone to the back burner but i don't even know if i'll do a video for that because i feel like it's going to be lots of shouting and arguing we already had a bit of an argument about just ordering the shower tray <laughs> so oh anyway uh if you do enjoy this then obviously you know I, there will be more i have loads of like deferred cleaning jobs i'm just feeling like I need to sort my life out but I've been feeling that way for years and I'm sure a lot of you have um anyway thank you for watching <sighs> hopefully next year painting the balcony will be something that I can do in two days because usually it takes me two or three days to do it I just do half of it, clean half of it paint half of it move everything do the do the second half of it and it's done this has been the longest that has ever taken me to do this flipping job. Um, I don't even know. Maybe, maybe I've just always been motivated previously. I've always got up and done it really early morning previously because I didn't want to like annoy the neighbours by having like by washing the balcony and like pouring water down on them. So maybe, maybe that's why I've had it done. But it's the, the weather has been the main thing that's held me back. I mean the sun is out so maybe we just had to get it all out of the way in March and April and now it's going to be glorious for the, for the for the rest of the year rest of the summer right Ziggy anyway thank you for watching if you like what you see please join me for more there's also lots of reselling content on here because that's mainly what my channel is about but there you know this is just about my madness so Goodbye from me, goodbye from Ziggy, goodbye from Siobhan. Goodbye from Shelley. <laughs> goodbye from Sean. <laughs> There's another two in the other room. Oh, are you alright? This isn't fair. Right, goodbye. I'll see you again soon. <laughs>